What is going on, everybody? This is 86. Just leveling my SRS Necromancer. Just chilling. I was just kind of thinking about the new league coming up. The Trial of the Ancestors. Thinking about all the new additions coming. And I just kind of wanted to know what are you guys in the community the most excited about coming in 3.22? Now, there's a lot of additions coming to. Oh, and that was a. Ooh. What was that? Cold damage over time? I died really fast. So, out of all the new additions coming to the uh, new league, we have, of course, the Trial of the Ancestors mechanic, which is its own auto-battler mechanic. We have new legendaries being introduced, which we've seen three of. We have new support gems being introduced, which there is 13 of, I think. You have for Forbidden Sanctum being reintroduced. Uh, what else? Um... There's the new keystones for the Atlas Passive Tree. Um, two new reworked ascendancies, which is Chieftain and Guardian. And I think those are most of the big upcoming changes that I could think of. Um, and I just kind of wanted to get a vibe for what people are kind of looking forward to the most or is more interesting to them. And uh, just kind of talk about it a little bit and just kind of touch on everything. Um, uh, first off, I think the new uh, Trial of the Ancestors mechanic looks pretty cool. Um, one, bi one big thing that I have to give GGG props for is um, trying all these different mechanics. Um, whether they're going to work out or not. Like they've tried the Blight mechanic, which is like a tower defense type mechanic. They've tried uh, just... Multiple different, like the Sanctum was like a roguelike mechanic. I'm um, just bringing like other mechanics or other genres into Path of Exile in a way is uh, really cool and interesting just to see how they put their spin on it, how they integrate it into the game, and um, if it'll stay and become an integral part of the game in the future. Um, like Forbidden Sanctum being added back this league has pretty much given people a new way to spin their end game you could pretty much spend your entire end game just running forbidden sanctums at this point uh in this league if you want to um of course they're going to be pretty expensive um so it's probably gonna be a while before somebody can really i mean we'll have to see what the drop rates on these things are but it's probably going to be a while before somebody can actually uh you know start running that but it's just another option for the in game. So on top of heist, which uh, and delve, which you can do in the in game, you have um, breach now. You have legion. You're going to be able to run forbidden sanctums now. I mean, it's just really cool that they're adding all these different mechanics and, and different ways to kind of enjoy the in game, and you can kind of. Uh, do things more tailored your way especially with the addition of these new keystones you can kind of um, specialize in these in-game mechanics even further and kind of tune them into a way more akin to your play style which is really interesting um, some of the new uniques um, we've only seen three of them so far i believe um, there's the ring um, there was a belt which both looked uh, pretty meh but there was the chess piece, the Katabas, uh, something, I can't really remember the name of it. But it had a huge amount of life, uh, and the big downside was you can't have life modifiers on any other piece of gear. Um, which is, actually, I think it's a really cool chess piece. And I think um, it's something that will be uh, not too difficult to build around, but it'll give you a huge uh, spike in defenses. And it's just another way to build characters uh, without having to get life on every fucking piece of gear, which can be kind of annoying sometimes. Um, now you just don't have to worry about getting life on any gear, any pieces of gear. Uh, I mean, of course, there's other life modifiers, which uh, can be kind of a pain to not be able to get. But, I mean, that's for you as the build creator to work around and kind of figure out how you want to incorporate into your build. Oh, man. My reses are shit. I'm just kind of, you know, fucking around leveling, just uh, kind of getting a feel for the game. So please um, be aware I am, I am not playing at... Um, maximum efficiency right now as i should be um so what else do we have uh, i touched on forbidden sanctum the new keystones um mechanic looks very interesting i think that's what i'm looking forward to the most is just 
an introduction of a whole new mechanic and just something new that you're going to be able to do in the end game that you could just, you know, I'm tired of running maps. I'm going to go uh, do Trials of Ancestors for, you know, a couple hours and you have, a, 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 you know, some coins saved up and you can just go run that for a while. And then when you get tired of that, you can go run Sanctum for a while. And then when you get tired of Sanctum, you can go run Dell for a while. It's all, it's all just another puzzle in the giant piece. Uh, uh, in the another piece in the giant puzzle that is Path of Exile in game, uh, it just keeps expanding and getting uh, bigger and bigger, and uh, it's just just amazing. I, I love this game. I love playing it. I love coming back to it every league, and um, yeah, it's just gonna be really cool. Oh, the other big addition, the one that I didn't even think of, is the tattoos. Those alone are huge. You know what? It changed the like uh, small passive nodes on your tree that's gonna add so much more customization to builds uh like just a lot of the stats you don't really need you need them just for uh gear and gem requirements but uh, after that man like you can just do without the stats a lot of the time so being able to get rid of a lot of the ones you don't need be able to change them to things that might actually affect and make your build better and stronger uh is a really cool idea and i think it's going to be a very strong addition then you also have the lock of hair which is the new crafting uh currency which lets you um see the outcome of the next crafting uh currency that you're going to use on the item uh which is extremely powerful on its own um it's going to be um great addition to the in-game crafting system uh, i think it's just gonna make crafting that much more enjoyable um, having all these other options for the in-game crafting system is just great. Adding all these new layers and mechanics that you can use to manipulate these items is just amazing. And having this game just constantly grow on itself and expand. Uh, I'm just, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm, I'm super excited for this ever-expanding, changing, and growing game. Uh, it just keeps getting better and better with every league. Regardless of some of the negative feedback in the past, I still think this game is by far uh the best free-to-play game on the market um there's just no other game does it better no other company does it better no other company cares about their game more i mean it's just you could just see it in the passion damn i suck at this game that's okay he jumped on me big time that's all right we're all right so yeah, I'm really looking forward to the new league. I'm really looking forward to all the new additions to the new in-game uh, additions. Being able to run Sanctums is going to be really cool again. Um, just being able to run Trial of the Ancestors when you get tired from mapping. Just having these new additions to the in-game is just going to be so cool. The, the amount of, of just content that they just put into these leagues, it's just, it's just amazing, man. They, they, they truly truly innovate in this genre and they just keep making this game just unbelievably amazing and i hope to see you guys in path of exile if you guys haven't already please subscribe to the channel i'm going to be uh doing a lot more content for path of exile uh daily path of exile content going to just be playing this game a lot from here on out it's just going to be one of the only games I'm playing. I'm not really going to be switching to any other ARPGs at this point. Kind of tired of uh, getting burned by these other games. So, uh, yeah, just going to keep pushing through and uh, working on this, getting the fundamentals taken care of with this build, getting some of the, the fine tuning worked out, figuring out what I enjoy the best, figuring out what works for me the best. There's so many different variations on this build alone. Um, yeah, there's a lot for me to figure out. If I want to go Occultist, Necromancer, Guardian, and even potentially go Pathfinder, I think you could even go Champion if you wanted to. You can go Poison, you can go Elemental, you can go uh, Popcorn SRS, you can go Zoomancer. Uh, it's crazy. There's a lot of possibilities. There's a lot of things I need to figure out before the actual league starts, and we only have about four days. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to keep grinding away at this, uh, probably dying a lot getting shit on by uh, some of these uh, crazy mobs. But yeah, I'm still having fun. That's what matters. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the league start. Have a good one. Peace.